So today, um, I'm excited to share with you at the end, I'll have a, um, a freebie that you can also grab if you want. But it's all about basically the science behind creating the landing page that's actually going to get the clicks. Now, if you're new to the funnel world, you know that um, you need clients or customers. That's like the number one problem that we all struggle with, right? So how do you do it? You create some kind of a funnel or some kind of a system that brings people closer to you. And the best way to do that is through some kind of a landing page. So something that gets people's attention, it brings them in, and you might have something of value that you want to offer them. So it's like fishing. You put the worm on the hook, you throw it out there and you see if anybody um, is interested. So what I tell people is um, when you're planning your landing page, there's a lot of mistakes and a lot of, because we're just kind of copying what we see out there. And so the purpose of this little training is to show you um some of the secrets, so to speak, so that you get the most mileage out of your landing page so that people will actually click the button because that's what, what it's all about, all right? Usually the problems is that it's too vague. People land on the landing page and they don't understand what it is that you're offering. And I've got a couple of um, examples that I'm gonna show you that I think are really good. Um, and Another big problem is there's too many conflicting uh, what we call CTAs, calls to action. Now, the bottom line is our mind is simple in the sense that you need only to offer one thing. Decide what it is. Uh, do you want people to opt in? Do you want people to book a call with you? Do you want people to go to your Facebook group? Each landing page can only have one purpose. And that's the biggest problem I see. People, they'll put like five different things on there. Uh, join the Facebook group, uh, go over here to my YouTube channel and click here for a free appointment. And the confused mind just shuts down and then nothing happens, all right? So that's a, um, and I'll show you some examples. And um, I, I have a formula that I'm gonna share with you. I call my ABCs formula that's gonna help you when you build your uh, landing page. So let me know if that's making sense if you're watching this live and if you watch on replay, let me know that also. The other thing that I just wanna mention is when you're building your landing page and you have that freebie that you want to give to people, <clears throat> or maybe it's even a low priced um, uh, item, think about what is the best way for you to deliver that to them and what's the best way for your ideal client. And the reason I'm saying that is because we all learn differently and we also have different, I call it our different love languages in the sense of, you know, for some people, it's very easy for them just to talk. So maybe an audio download, like a little mini podcast is the best way to, del to deliver your content. Who says that everything has to be a PDF? Um, and quite honestly, in this in this market, there are so many um, digital documents out there that it it's really, you know, we're all kind of on overload. So think about the best way to deliver some of that uh, goodness. And maybe it is a video. And I've I've got little tips for you with uh, video if you don't like getting in front of the camera, so that you don't have to you know be shy about that. But Anyway, uh, that's like an, another whole training um, series there for you. All right. So think about the best way that you're going to, de to deliver um, your product or service or training, whatever it is. And then also think about what is the, what they, what they, what we call the pain point and how can you give them a quick transformation? So the pain point, what are they struggling with? So if somebody's struggling with getting leads, then this would be attracting them because yes, I need to get more leads. So uh, it would bring people in, all right? 
So <clears throat> let me uh, let me share my screen. And I think uh, let's do this. I'm going to go over and I'm going to just put this over here so I can make sure that it's displaying OK. Let me just uh, show you. I'm going to just open up a couple of these uh, examples here. This is a beautiful example. So this this is a landing page uh, because they're um, inviting you into their world. There's a couple of things that I would not do. Um, I'm not going to focus on that right now. The reason I love this landing page is because it's crisp, clear, and there's like one call to action here, basically. Unlock your free offer. Excuse me. So they're selling something. Um, you know, if, if you're not into, um, you might have to kind of take a minute here. Okay, what is it that they're selling? Oh, I see. They're giving me something that's going to cover up my dark spots or my breakouts. Oh, my uneven skin tone. So I can see just by being on this page for a quick minute, what it is that they're offering or what um, pain point they're solving. And then, oh, I can get a free offer. Okay, well, maybe I'll try that. And then I would click on it and away I go. All right. So that's, that's a good one that um, I think they've done an excellent job on that. Let's open up another one. This one, <clears throat> excuse me, love this one again, because it's crisp and clear. We know, oh, now, you know, if you've been under a rock, you might not know what Spotify is, but most people do know. And this page is very to the point. Hey, you want to sign up here? You can get a premium month for free. And then after that, it's 10 bucks. And then you can scroll down and it'll give you a little more detail, but you're not flooded with information about what it is, how it can improve your life, you know, all of that kind of stuff. It's just to the point what it is, get started, or you can view the plans and the plans are very simple to see, right? So that's another um, good example. Here's one. Uh, what I like about this is the picture I think they do a great job on the picture as far as who is their ideal uh, client or lead. So what this uh, landing page does is they're helping people learn to code, to do the programming. And their ideal target is probably a younger person. So this makes sense here to see this picture. And look how easy this is. The call to, call to action, the CTA is join millions learning to code for free. Name and password and you're good to go. So again, you could scroll down and you could see more details, but all of this, what we call above the fold, straight to the point, you know exactly what it is you should do. Let me show you one more here. This one, um, again, is it's all about, um, this is the Airbnb, host your space, share your world. So if you're thinking about uh, getting into this market, you land on this page, here's a very clear button, click this button, learn what it takes to sign, uh, to sign up for something like this. And on this one, there's more details here, but at the very top, front and center, it does a, a good job with that. Right. So those are just a few samples. Now, let me this is this is the real document, um, the PDF um, that you should have gotten if you had signed up for my little freebie here. And again, I'll I'll share the link if you haven't signed up for it. So <clears throat> let me talk about what I call the ABC's formula. And this is going to help you when you're creating your landing page. So A stands for above the fold. You want the button to be above the fold 
because you only have a few seconds. People are going to land on that page and you just have a very few seconds, nanoseconds, to get the message across what you're offering and the CTA. Click on this button to get your free offer. So A is for above the fold. B is what I call breathing room. And so remember I said that a confused mind is not going to stick around. So if that page is cluttered with stuff, your mind just shuts down and you bounce off. They call it the bounce rate. You're only there for a few seconds. It's like, I have no idea what this is. And you leave. And so I tell people the white space, the breathing room, it's free. So use it, be generous with it. And the same thing if you write any documentation, even your Facebook posts, add lots of breathing room because it gives the mind a chance to absorb the information, the communication that you're sharing. So is this making sense? Let me know in the comments if this makes sense to you. So as you're building your landing page, the juice of it needs to be above the fold. It needs to be very succinct to the point and give them lots of breathing room when they land on that page. The C in the ABC formula is a clear call to action. And try to use a verb when you're um, designing your button. What do you want them to do? Remember when I said initially when you're building your landing page, what do you want them to do? Do you want them to join? Um, yes, I'm ready to lose weight or whatever it is, whatever the button is drawing them to, make sure that it's very clear and like in a positive uh, language. Um, click here to sign up. That kind of sounds like work to me, but um, click here to learn the secrets sounds better, right? So, and again, clear, they know what they're doing and don't give them multiple CTAs. Whatever the landing page is built for, nothing else matters, all right? And then the S in the ABC's formula is social proof. All of us like to know or we make decisions emotionally, but then we look for the logic to back up that decision. And none of us like to make bad decisions. And so it's the social proof that we're looking for that validates, yes, this is a good decision because Betty over here got these great results. And Susie, look what happened when she implemented this. So whenever you can build in that social proof on that landing page, it's going to increase getting people to click on that button. So does that make sense? Let me know if it does. One other thing that I want to talk about is, and there's a whole science about colors, what colors do and all of that kind of stuff. And what I want to tell you is when you're designing your landing page, especially for the button, forget your brand colors. I struggle with this because I like things to look pretty. I like everything to kind of be, uh, you know, flowing. But studies have shown that bright orange and a high contrast, you know, depending on what your brand colors are, an orange button wins. So I don't care if you're using uh, pastels and all of that kind of stuff. Try using an orange button to get people to click. Try it. Let me know if it works for you. The next thing that I want to mention is the number one people, the number one reason why people click. Why are people coming to this page? What is it? At the end of the day, the hope of transformation. Doesn't matter what the problem is, they have a problem. They think that maybe you've got the solution. And it's really that hope of the transformation that they're looking for. Let's face it. 
none of us want another 20 page PDF. None of us want to sit through another hour long webinar, right? What are we looking for? We're looking for the hope of transformation. How can I get rid of this nagging problem? So think about that when you're building your landing page. And then that's where the social proof comes in. Because again, our emotion is what prompted us to take the step forward, but our logical brain is looking for proof. And when you use show, social proof, there's a few things here that I point out that you should uh, try to do if possible. If possible, use the first and last name, use their title or their website, you know, get permission from them, uh, get a direct quote. So, um, you know, so that people can see what the transformation. So the quote shouldn't be, oh, I think Debbie is great. But the quote should highlight what their transformation is. Uh, if you're selling or offering higher ticket things, then if you can get videos, that's even better. And also, if you can screen snippet, screen capture uh, social media clips. So if you're in a Facebook group and somebody calls you out and says, wow, you know, uh, Carrie did such a fabulous job when she helped me do X, Y, Z. Just do a little screen capture and then you can use those on your page, right? Is that making sense? So I won't go through everything in this um, handout here, but I give you some examples basically of how when you're building your landing page, what you need on it, and then some examples and why those examples uh, work. All right. And then this also uh, gets into a checkout page, what we should be putting on our checkout page, which is beyond uh, the training for this today. But in the future, I'll probably do a detailed training on that. And then troubleshooting. Again, if you're just starting out, don't worry about all of this. But if you're not getting the traction that you want, there's a lot of different things you can do. Uh, the um, the advice is only test one thing at a time. Do some testing, see if it works, uh, and then just kind of go down the line. And one thing that I just want to mention is uh, with split testing, basically I tried this, I tried that, you need to get at least 400 views. So if you're trying two different headlines, for instance, or two different colors of your button, uh, you need at least 400 page views for each one, A and B. So you need a total of about 800 views to see really which one is going to work the best for you. And all of this is really a more detailed. Um, I go into this in a lot more detail and give uh, more assistance with this in my Digital Business Academy. But just kind of file it away in the back of your mind on the testing. And then on this page here, I call it the seven plus secrets to, to create a compelling lead uh, magnet. So just some uh, tips there for you. And then I also have this little um, lead magnet checklist uh, when you're uh, building your landing page. So uh, this is a great summary. Uh, make sure that the most important information is above the fold. Okay. Um, so here's our ABCs. Make sure that you give lots of breathing room, lots of white space, have only uh, or have a clear call to action. So there's no question as far as what it is that people are supposed to do. If possible, provide some kind of social proof. And again, only have one call to action. I know you want to share everything. You want them to join your Facebook group. You want them to sign up for uh, YouTube and all of that kind of stuff. But the landing page only has one job. So decide what that job is. And then you can you can repeat the button all the way through. But each button takes them only to one place. And then think about how can you give them an easy transformation? So that's the other problem with our landing pages and especially for offering freebies. You know, we want to give lots of value, 
but at the end of the day, we want them to have some kind of a transformation. <laughs> Excuse me. So when they're finished, if they can implement even one thing, then they feel successful, right? Um, another tip is make sure that you use a contrasting button color. Uh, and orange seems to be the, uh, the best color. Um, I didn't talk about um, some of these too much. And again, it's, it's more for an in-depth training class, but uh, remove the navigational bar. This isn't a website. It's a landing page. The landing page has one job only. So get rid of all of those buttons and things along the top. The transformation that you offer from this landing page, can you sum it up in one sentence? And then also make sure that you test for the mobile visibility, all right? Um, and then I just invite you uh, into a direct message with me if you want to learn more about my uh, Digital Business Academy, where we really go in in depth so that you build your landing page and your sales page in a, in a way that uh, gets people to click that button. Right? Does that make sense with everybody? So let me stop sharing my screen here. Bring this back. Okay, so let, let me know in the comments if this was useful. Uh, when you get your landing page built, I would love to see it. If you want some uh, free critiquing, let uh, post it in the group and, and we'll uh, take a look at it. And as always, uh, if you are watching on YouTube, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, and then you don't have to sort through, uh, you know, weeks worth of um, posts anyplace else to try to find this video. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching live and uh, I'll see you the next time. Take care.